The red squirrel is one of our best loved mammals. Once found throughout most of the United Kingdom, the numbers have been decimated by widespread deforestation and the introduction of the non-native grey squirrel, which is able to outcompete its smaller cousin. Today red squirrels are restricted to their main stronghold, Scotland, plus a few sites across England, Wales and Northern Ireland. But even in Scotland, many of their former territories remain unoccupied. Red squirrels are missing from the Northwest Highlands. The woodlands there provide great habitat, but because Scotland's forests have become fragmented and red squirrels can't cross open ground, they're unable to recolonize these areas naturally. Trees for Life, a charity that is working to rewild the highlands, is aiming to change this. In partnership with the Highland Foundation for Wildlife, they're creating 10 new populations of red squirrels, restoring them to former strongholds. Here we follow Project Officer Becky Priestley to see how it's being done. We're just beginning our third translocation, which is to Plockton in the Northwest Scottish Highlands. We only catch wild squirrels and we just take small numbers from lots of different areas to make sure that we don't damage local populations. So this is one of the sites where we're hoping to catch a squirrel. I installed this feeder about three weeks ago and I've kept it topped up with peanuts. I know that a squirrel's been coming and using it, so three days ago I installed this trap alongside it um, and I've been keeping that topped up with peanuts and I've kept it tied open with a cable tie just so a squirrel can get used to coming in and out. I'll just set it and then that's ready to catch a squirrel. So that's the final trap set. We've got seven set all together. Uh, so we're just going to head off now and go and check the traps that we've already set and hopefully we'll have caught a squirrel. Okay, so great news, we've caught a squirrel. So that's a really nice looking squirrel, so I'm just going to cover it over with a dark cloth just to minimise stress as much as possible. So that's one squirrel caught, uh, which is a great start. We're just going to head off around the other sites. We've got another six, so hopefully we'll get a few more yet. Okay, so we're back at the third site where we started the day, and it sounds like there's another one in the trap. Okay, great stuff. That's number three. So these are the boxes that we take the squirrels across in. Um, so they've been specially built and we've lined them with hay to keep them warm. We've got some peanuts in for some food and I'm just going to put this little bit of apple in uh, just so they've got some hydration during the journey. We just need to do a health inspection just to make sure that all the squirrels that we're going to take across are fit and healthy and haven't got any diseases. So first of all we transfer it from the trap into this sack. Okay, so the next step is to transfer it from the sack into this handling tube so that we can get a good look at it. And he looks absolutely fine. Uh, he's got a couple of fleas, that's normal. Uh, but other than that, he's absolutely fine. So I'm just going to weigh him. Uh, so here's 390 grams. Okay, so we're just going to get him into the box. So we're just pulling the gate off very slowly. That's it. There we go, he's in. Okay, so that's four healthy squirrels and just put them in the car off to their new home in Plockton. A couple of hours later, the squirrels arrive at Plockton, a small village on the west coast. Willie Rowe is one of the landowners on whose ground the squirrels are going to be released. It's about 50 years since red squirrels were last uh, seen in Sky and Loch Alps, so the project to reintroduce them to this part of Scotland is really exciting and holds all kinds of possibilities for us here. And then Becky asked if we at uh, Jordanish Lodge would like to be part of it, and we got very excited about that and looking forward to being part of the project. Here we are in Plockton, it's time to release the squirrels. Um, just found a nice sort of secluded little copse here. There's plenty of Scots pine, which is really good for the squirrels. And then further afield, there's hazel oak, all sorts of species that are will make really good habitat for them. Um, it's starting to get a little bit dark, so we need to crack on and release the squirrels as soon as possible. The next thing to do is just to put this feeder up close to the boxes. Uh, we provide supplementary food for a few months after we release the squirrels, just to enable them to settle into their new habitat easily. Okay, so the final thing to do is to actually release the squirrels. 
So I just remove the tape from the box. And then I'm just going to stuff a little bit of moss in the entrance hole, because it will stay in here overnight. And then we'll leave the squirrel alone, and it will find its way out in its own time in the morning. As night settles in over Scotland's west coast, the squirrels are all safe in the transit boxes in their new forest home. As dawn breaks, they will naturally want to feed and will leave the boxes to start their new life. This project is a really valuable contribution to red squirrel conservation, but it's not only the squirrels that benefit. Claire Mundy is one of the landowners at Childig, where Trees for Life reintroduced red squirrels last spring. Well, it's been really fantastic having the red squirrels here in Shielding because we've all been so behind Trees for Life and their commitment to reintroduce them here. And we've helped in whatever way we can with the feeding of them and reporting sightings of them. And so we're very excited that they seem to be doing well here. So what's good for the squirrels is certainly good for us in Shielding. Over the next two years, Trees for Life plans to restore eight more red squirrel populations, creating a new stronghold in the Northwest Highlands. The presence delighting both residents and visitors alike as they go about their squirrely business.